In a world where people are obsessed with work, Netflix, and social media, one handsome bald man will teach you all the secrets to get amazing sleep. So the topic of discussion today is sleep. And for those of you watching, I want you to be 100% honest with yourself. Do you prioritize sleep? Do you set aside at least 10 to 11 hours to be in bed to do one of the most basic human functions, which is sleep? So in gathering data for this video, I saw that 70% of US adults are sleep deprived. That is unacceptable. So sleep basically affects everything. It affects your mood, your immune system, your bone density, your memory, your mental cognition, your digestion, your recovery, your chance of injury, and the list goes on and on. Testosterone, testosterone is literally produced while you're sleeping. So the fact that people don't prioritize this aspect is baffling to me. If we look at babies, babies literally double their body weight in the first three months and they sleep upwards to 16 hours a day. Lions sleep up to 18 to 20 hours and they're considered the king of the jungle. So don't click off this video and proceed to go on TikTok because today we're gonna improve our sleeping habits. All right, so it all starts in the morning. So within one hour of waking up, try to get at least 15 to 30 minutes of sunlight. So as I'm recording, it's a little cloudy, but that's okay. I'm still getting UV rays on my skin. So this is doing two things. One is producing serotonin, which is a neurotransmitter that makes us happy and it gets us going throughout the day. Two, it's also setting our circadian rhythm, which is our body's internal 24 hour clock. So once we get sunlight, it's telling our body that this is the beginning of our day. And then naturally throughout the night, as it gets darker, our body begins to produce melatonin, which helps us go to sleep. But this is not possible if you don't get the adequate amount of sunlight in the morning. So make sure to get your sunlight to get some good sleep. So as I'm preparing my pre-workout before I hit the gym, which is a creatine and beetroot crystals, by the way, this leads me to my next point, which is exercise. So the reason exercise is so important is because when we exercise, we release something called endorphins. Endorphins are key into helping you reduce anxiety and it helps you reduce stress, which are two key players into insomnia. It's also something with resistance training and when we physically exert ourselves, it makes it much easier to go to sleep at night because your body's smart. It sees that you're working out and exerting yourself is gonna help you go to sleep so you can recover for the next workout. So let's get these gains. All right, so for the next tip is to have a caffeine cutoff point. So me being Cuban Italian, I am obsessed with coffee and I can literally have coffee at any time of the day. But I know that it is a stimulant and caffeine lasts in the system for about seven to nine hours. So the last thing you wanna be doing when you're in bed is having caffeine in your system and feeling those jitters and anxiety. So personally, my cutoff point is 1 p.m. and it could be different for you depending on what time you sleep. But this not only includes coffee, but it includes any type of caffeine pills, pre-workout, anything that it has caffeine, have a cutoff point. All right, so let's talk about supplements. So the supplements I'm gonna recommend are all natural and non-pharmaceutical. Starting with taurine. So taurine is a non-essential amino acid. Taurine is found to reduce anxiety before going to sleep by targeting the GABA neurotransmitter. The dosage I recommend is three grams. Okay, so the next supplement is glycine. So glycine is also a non-essential amino acid that it is a component of creatine. So glycine is gonna help reduce the total amount of time it takes you to go to sleep. And it also helps decrease the feeling of being sleepy throughout the day. So yes, take glycine three grams before going to sleep. So the next supplement is L-tryptophan. So tryptophan is an essential amino acid that is a precursor to serotonin, which is the neurotransmitter that helps you be happy and it also helps you go to sleep. So I recommend to take one gram of L-tryptophan before going to sleep. So next is magnesium, specifically magnesium theorinate because it is the most absorbable magnesium. So magnesium is basically nature's Xanax and it helps you reduce anxiety and helps nerve signaling before going to bed. So I recommend taking 144 micrograms of magnesium theorinate before going to sleep. So the next supplement I recommend is lemon balm, which is a natural herb that helps 
reduce anxiety, and it helps promote sleep. So the dosage for this I recommend is 500 milligrams of lemon balm. Next is melatonin, specifically time-release melatonin. So melatonin is a hormone that is naturally produced in the body before bedtime. But if you have bright lights and screens in front of you, this will blunt the production of melatonin, so you might have to supplement with it. I recommend to take three milligrams of time-release melatonin before going to bed. Now for the last supplement, I know this list has been kind of long. You don't have to take all of these supplements. Honestly, one or two of them should do just fine. But if you have major crazy insomnia, you could take all of them at one time and you don't have to worry about it overloading your GABA system. So for the last supplement is ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is a natural herb that helps reduce anxiety and it helps increase testosterone in men. So I recommend 500 milligrams of ashwagandha and the certain brand that I like is Nature's Way Standardized 4%. All right guys, so for the next tip is to crank down this AC. So personally, I like to have the AC from 67 degrees to 65 degrees. So what this helps does, it helps mimics the body's natural drop in body temperature when we are asleep. So before going to bed, make sure to crank that AC down to get better sleep quality and better sleep duration. All right guys, so as you can see, it's nighttime. And what I'm doing right now is I'm going through my nighttime routine. And I know you guys are probably roasting me in the comment section for my pajamas, but it's very comfy and it helps me go to sleep. So if you don't own a pair of pajamas, you really should. So this brings me to my next topic is to have an unwinding routine. So you see sleep is not like a light switch that you turn on and off. Rather, it's a volume knob that you slowly have to turn. So what I'm doing is I'm lighting candles, which is a tobacco vetiver. It smells so good and it helps me go to sleep. And I'm making some chamomile tea, which I sip on throughout the night. And studies have shown that chamomile actually helps people go to sleep. So find your own routine and tailor it to yourself and see what works best for you. Yes, have a routine and stick to it. All right, so before going to bed, try to avoid refined sugars. So refined sugars will increase brain activity, which increases the amount of nightmares and sleep disturbances that you have, which is the last thing we want. So when choosing a late night snack, instead of going to the refrigerator and choosing a hog and dogs, better yet, choose a fruit which still has sugar, but it has fiber in it, which slows down the insulin response. And another very important factor about going to sleep is Darkness. So during nighttime, make a conscious effort of creating a dark environment. So that includes dimming all the lights in your house. Turn on night shift on your phone. So you could find this in the brightness section in your settings. So make sure to black out your room by covering any potential entry point that light could enter your bedroom. And if you want to take it a step further, wear an eye mask so you can ensure no light enters your eyes. All right, so next is to have a nice clean bed. There's nothing like laying down in a nice clean bed that smells like linen and lavender instead of a bed that is infested with bed bugs and, and crusty Dorito chips. So make a conscious effort and wash your sheets at least once a week. When we sleep, we release drool, sweat, dandruff, and if you sleep naked, you could also have other stuff in your bed. So don't be nasty. Oh, you nasty. And launder your sheets and pillowcases once a week. So if you enjoy educational videos like this, subscribe to the channel for weekly uploads. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.